Hello friends! I've always wanted to turn soda cans into rings, but the metal is thin and a bit sharp. Finally I found a solution that's so easy, I don't know why I didn't think of it sooner. I'll also show how I made simple headpieces and collaborate with a fellow soda can enthusiast. So here are the materials and let's get started! The solution for the ring base is simple printer paper. Cut it into thin strips. Then find an object that's the size of your finger and use a glue stick to create a paper ring. I only needed two strips for mine. I like to rip off the ends of the strips so they blend in more. Once the ring has dried for a bit, take it off. It will still be a little flexible, but that will change. Next, paint it with acrylic paint. I learned that it's best to be patient and to do it in stages. Now it's time for the metal strips. The scientist formerly known as Nigelli kindly sent me these soda can strips, which he made with this cool soda can strip cutter. You can find the tutorial and many more cool soda can projects on his channel, which I will link everywhere I can. So you will need a strip of a soda can that fits around your ring and leaves a tiny gap. You can use the printed side of a can as well. Make the corners of the strip less pointy so they don't poke you. Then I like to cover the metal with masking tape because I don't want to mess it up with super glue later on. Match the shape of the metal to the paper ring as much as possible so that the super glue has an easier job. Then spread a thin layer of super glue on the inside of the strip. I use as little glue as possible. Now you just have to try to make the strip centered on the ring base. Peeling off the tape is always quite satisfying. If you like detailed work, you can even scratch the metal with a needle and get intricate designs. I went with runes because they don't have to look perfect. In general, if you're using the printed side of a can, you will have to protect it from scratches. I'm just using clear nail polish here. After letting it dry overnight, you get a nice and glossy finish. You can make bigger rings as well, like these headpieces. With the strip cutter that scientist Nigelli made, that's even easier. The alternative is cutting a can into a spiral and then straightening the strip. But you can see how much more material you get with his strip cutter. And it is bouncy, so you can make this. Once you have a long strip, carefully shape it with round objects. Measure your head with a lizard and use super glue to create a ring that fits on your noggin. Again, I protected the metal with masking tape. Then I just used <laughs> Then I just used strips of craft foam and super glued them into the ring. It's a very flexible headpiece, but it does the job and you can add jewels or other things to it. These soda can gemstones actually pair really well with it. So here's the tutorial and a link to Scientist Nigelli's channel. Thank you and see you later!